What about an, a work, a journal, or a book that's by more than one person? If there's three, four, or five authors, then the first time that you cite this, you need to include all of the authors. However, the second and following times you cite that, you can include just the first author followed by et al, which means all others and others. So here is an example. In this case, we have one author, two authors, three authors, and four. And pay attention, comma with an and conjunction at the end. This is very important. You must follow this style. These are the last names, the family names of the authors. So we have one, two, three, four authors here. And this paper is from 2007. So if it's three, four, or five authors, cite all authors the first time, as in this example. Here's another example, but a little bit later in the paper. So now we have the same paper, 2007. Hinzangu is the main author, the lead author, but now we use et al. So the first time it's in the paper, we do it this way. The second and after times, second and more, we do it this way, which is at all. But you must remember that first time. There's a special case of references for the same name and year. So let's look at an example of what I mean. Here's an example of a few authors, Iris, Chernoff, Yvette, and Kim from a 2001 paper. Here is a different paper. This paper has different authors. It has Iris, Chernoff, Stein, Yvette, and Silver. So it looks like it's some people who are similar, but some people who are different. Now, how do they decide whose name goes first and whose name goes second, whose name goes last? That has no special rule. That depends on the paper and the authors. The first author did the most work, usually, unless there's a special note. So that does not go by alphabetical order at all. That is the paper decides that when they wrote the paper. So we cannot decide that on our own. That is already predetermined. So in this case, we have two papers. This is the first paper. This is the second paper. These are totally different papers even though some of the authors are the same. Let's go ahead and see how we would cite that inside of our research paper. So here we have Iris Chernoff, Yvette et al. and Iris Chernoff, Stein et al. So what are we doing here? We're saying that these have multiple authors. We should be able to use et al. the second or more times in our paper. Not the first time. The first time, remember, we need to write out everybody. But the second and after time. However, if we just wrote Iers at all, and then here we wrote Iers at all, then these two papers would look the same. And the reader would not know which paper is which. So what do we do to solve that problem? We go ahead and we list out the names until there's a difference. So here we have Iris Chernoff, the vet, and here we have Iris Chernoff, Stein, because here, the vet, and here, Stein, this is where the author list changes. So now we are able to look at the reference list at the back, and we can see these papers are different, which paper is which. That's the key point. Help the reader understand how to find the correct paper.